It has been announced already who Archer Baturbiev will be fighting officially for his first defense of his undisputed title at light heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? And you won't believe who it is, but I'm gonna give y'all some hints. <laughs> it's not a Dimitri Bivol rematch. It's not David Benavidez. It's not even David Morrell. Hell, it's not even Joshua Boatze. Huh? And it's definitely not Canelo moving up to try to get another undisputed title at 175. Me blood clot. It's way better than that. Drum roll, please. It's my guy, IBF mandatory Michael Efert. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm most. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for the lead YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So just <laughs> as you have seen from the intro, man, Artur Beterbiev has announced who he will be fighting next. Rather, okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. He didn't announce it. It has been ordered by the IBF that he will be fighting their mandatory of their sanctioned body, and that's Michael Efert. <laughs> I know you don't know who he is, but he is a mandatory right now. His, what is his record? 13 and one. He only has one loss and that one loss, he avenged it. You know what I'm saying? But his most notable win was to Jean Pascal last year, who was a former champion. But Jean Pascal was 41. Damn. I'm sorry. When he fought him. <laughs> You know, so and that's not old in life, but you know, when it comes to boxing, you know, boxing age or a top competitive athlete, that's pretty up there, you know. And if you if you're familiar with John Pascal's career, then he is well over the hill. You know, what I'm saying he's just another guy that you know, another great that's just been fighting a little bit too long, way past his prime. His best years are definitely behind him. So I will say this though, you know, um, as he is the mandatory, I won't knock Archer Beterbiev for fighting him. You know, if that's the case, but I will say this as well he is not a guy that we will be too intrigued or excited about you know i think the general consensus amongst the boxing landscape is that we would all prefer for him to have a rematch immediately with dimitri bivol because it was a close controversial fight you know but i will also say this too man at least the ibf is being consistent the ibf strikes again you know they they, they stripped Usyk first they stripped canelo first that's why we get william skull versus uh vladimir shishkin and you know and and back, let me back up a little bit when they stripped Usyk, we got uh hergovic versus Dubois, even though they didn't strip him in time, Dubois then went on after uh, uh, being elevated to the IBF champion for beating Philip Hergovich. He went on and had his first defense against Anthony Joshua most recently. So, you know, the IBF is doing their thing and they are really, really, really letting you know, hey, man, we gonna finally enforce these rules like all the sanctioned bodies should have been doing in the first place. So, you know, on one hand, we will get mad at situations like this, but at the other hand, too, we have to also acknowledge that this is kind of what we want to see, we would like to see. Now, is Archer better be going to be stripped? I mean, that's only the future knows, you know what I'm saying? The future will, will, will tell it all. But uh, I fully anticipate that he won't fight Michael Efert, <laughs> you know? So he probably, his undisputed reign at light heavyweight will probably be short-lived unless they could come to a deal to where Michael Efert could take some step-aside money and give him a chance to fight who we want to see him fight, and that's Dimitri Bivol. And to be fair as well, he can't really fight David Benavidez or David Morrell, who are also mandatories by the other sanctioned bodies right now because David Morrell and David Benavidez, you know, to, to, to our happiness, you know what I'm saying? Um, for the fans, you know, they're giving us a fan-friendly fight and they're fighting each other. So Berturbiev Bert couldn't fight those two mandatories either. That And that only leaves Joshua Boatze, who is the WBO mandatory. And, um, you know, I, I, um, I don't know how many people believe that Joshua Boatze could beat Berturbiev after his last performance against Willie Hutchins. So Michael Efer, at the end of the day, we don't want that fight. But if he does take that fight to continue... To, to continue his reign at, at light heavyweight undisputed, I wouldn't be mad at it. You know what I'm saying? But if he gives it up and he goes and fights a rematch with Bivol, I won't be mad at that either. So y'all let me know what y'all prefer in the comments, man. Don't forget to like the video. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. Just a quick little update. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.